Stacy, I've rigged up all these uh, little lamps. In each one of them, there's a 100 watt light bulb because today okay. you and I are going to do an experiment that has to do with how much electricity you use around the house when you plug in various things. But we first, I have to make sure you understand, what is a fuse? Well, I know we have them in our homes because one time um, we put too many things in one socket and it blew, my mom said it blew a fuse, so she asked me to go downstairs and flip a switch. Mm -hmm. And you did, and all the yeah. lights came back on again. Right. Well, that was probably a circuit breaker that works on the same idea. When too much electricity goes through the circuit breaker or the fuse, it heats it up and burns it out. And that's why they say it blew a fuse. Okay. Right. Well, what does the word fuse mean, you know? No, I don't. Well, well, have you ever heard of two metals fused together? Oh, yeah, yes. like in welding. Right. Okay, what fuse really means is burn or oh. melt. And okay. here's the wire that's going to melt. See that little wire that goes from there all the way across over there? Yeah. Okay. Here is a master switch. When I turn it on, that red light means electricity is now going through that wire, down over here through wires, and to every one of these light bulbs. Okay. So what I want you to do is start over there with light bulb number one and turn it on and keep a close eye on what's going to happen to the fuse. In fact, I'll put this little piece of paper on the top and that may give you a clue right away. Okay, okay. turn on the first light. Uh, 100 uh, watts. 200? Still nothing's happening. Number three, nothing. Four, five. Oh, it's uh -oh. starting to smoke. Oops. Yes. Five, at least you can tell the wire is getting hot, right? Yeah. Okay, try six. The paper's going to drop off, drop off pretty soon. Oh, and the wire's getting red. Yes, you can just barely getting oh, red. Keep seven. going. Here comes number seven. Number eight. Now, you see it's really red. Like yeah, in a toaster, right? Yeah, and it's sagging now. Yeah, it's sagging. Here comes, what, nine? Ten. Ten. Oh, it's getting low. It's a good idea to wait just a little bit, Stacy, because it takes a little while for the wire to heat up. Okay. Okay. So now 11. Now 12. Try 12. Ooh, it really sags. Should I do 13? Well, wait just a minute at 12. Okay because the wire is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Oh, it just dropped off. It finally off. dropped off. Now I can turn off the master switch so there's no danger. Okay. And you turn off all the light bulbs. And I'll put in a new fuse because now we've established a sort of unit of electricity. Okay. Right? Because we turned on 12, 12 light bulbs. 12 light bulbs, right. There we go. Now, take out one of those light, light bulbs. Take the top right off. Which one? This Any one? Any old one over there. Oh, this top and came off. And there's a little black thing like this. You know what that is? Yeah, I do. It goes, it screws in right. here, and then you okay. can just plug in and you can get electricity. And you plug in anything. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, I put in a new fuse wire. Okay, now you see over there behind the thing there's an iron. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, you bring that up, and you know what we're going to do with it. We're going to plug the iron into this. Right, we're going to plug the iron right into that. Now, remember, our unit of electricity is 12 light bulbs. All right. Okay? What are, the reason why we're doing this is not only to burn out the fuses, but to find out when you use the most electricity around the house. So far, we've changed electricity into light. When we plug in the iron, we're going to change it into heat. Okay. All right. First, the master switch. Okay. Now, you have to throw that switch to turn on the iron on. This switch? Right. Oh, look how fast look. it's going. I don't think we need to turn on a light bulb. You don't think so? No. Well, maybe one. Maybe one. I'll turn. That's... Turn on number one. Maybe two? <laughs> okay, try two. There we oh, go. It's going to go That's about two. the same as it was before, right? Yeah. And if we let it sit there for a minute, it should say. Maybe we should and turn on three. Oh, no, we no didn't need. need to. Okay. Now I'll turn off this When that switch. When that went off, the light bulbs went off, too. Yes, because, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why, didn't you, why was that a surprise to you? Well, I thought, I don't know. I just <laughs> yeah, never noticed it, the, it before. It was the well, fuse for all these light bulbs. That's why it went out, just like yeah. in your house. You know, what have we found out? Well, in terms of light... One fuse worth of electricity was equal to how many? 
12, 12 you turned out. Yeah. Okay. And if you put an iron in, an iron is worth equal to 10 light 10 bulbs. 10 light bulbs, yes. 100 watt, too. Yes, 100 watt light bulbs. Therefore, every time you change electricity into heat around the house, you're using the most electricity. Right. So therefore, use it as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Yeah.